sure they don't die out to extinction. And in other cases, they can be a sanctuary against poaching and hunters. Needless to say, zoos have a pretty tough job keeping all those exotic and sometimes dangerous animals happy and fed. But some people just can't leave well enough alone and decide that just looking at the animals isn't enough for them. They have to get up close and personal. Now, sometimes it's a total accident. A kid falls into an exhibit while his mother's back is turned. A man might lose his balance taking a picture, and so on. But that's not usually the reason people end up in zoo enclosures. Sometimes people willingly jump in. Levin Merritt As encounters with great apes go, Harambe wasn't the first incident of a child falling into a gorilla enclosure. It happened at the Dural Wildlife Park in Jersey Channel Islands in the UK, when five-year-old Levin Merritt somehow fell into the zoo's gorilla enclosure, falling far enough that he lost consciousness when he hit the ground. The zoo staff grew concerned when the boy started visibly bleeding as well, and even more so when the child was approached by a giant silverback male named Jambo. Instead of grabbing the child and dragging him around, Jambo shocked the onlookers by instead standing his ground next to the boy, keeping the other gorillas away, stroking his back, all while Levin regained his consciousness. When Levin woke up, his crying scared Jambo off, and the zoo staff were able to retrieve him and bring him to safety. Beijing Zoo, 2009 Pandas, they're endangered, and they're absolutely adorable. That cuteness draws in many crazy panda fans for Juju, a panda at the Beijing Zoo. People come from all over to see him, and more than a few have snuck into his enclosure. What they seem to forget about, though, is that pandas are still bears with the potential to be wild and vicious, fluffy and adorable otherwise. Juju has bitten several curious would-be bear enthusiasts who have snuck into his enclosure, but that doesn't stop people from doing it. In 2009, a man walked up to Juju, trying to get a close and personal selfie with him. Juju, apparently camera shy, took offense to that, and he showed it by taking a big bite out of the guy's leg before the keepers could drive Juju away. Please, don't take selfies with the animals. It's just common sense. Pittsburgh Zoo, 2012 For all these stories, a surprising number don't end with someone being killed considering they're just usually feet away from dangerous and unpredictable predators. But fatalities unfortunately do still happen sometimes, as was the case for two-year-old Maddox Durkish. Maddox's family was visiting the Pittsburgh Zoo, and when they went to the Wild African Dog exhibit, his mother stood him up on the protective railing for a better view. She lost her grip, and the child fell forward, hitting the net meant to catch litter and personal belongings then bounced off of it, landing in the enclosure with the wild African dogs. The dogs were fiercely territorial and mauled the boy to death before the zookeepers could even do anything. The zoo blamed the parents, the parents sued the zoo, and everything was settled out of court for a lot of money. Detroit Zoo, 1990 The Detroit Zoo is a popular destination for many who wish to admire the wildlife of the world and apparently also for those who like going where they shouldn't be. This time, though, the story has a happy ending, and the man had a good reason for jumping in. 33-year-old Rick Swope was enjoying his day at the Detroit Zoo until he came across the chimpanzee exhibit. He noticed something thrashing in the water, and on closer inspection, saw that a young chimp had fallen into the water and apparently couldn't swim. Acting quickly, Swope climbed the fence and jumped into the water in an attempt to save the aquatically challenged young great ape. He succeeded in carrying the nearly drowned little chimpanzee to safety, and the other chimps never tried to attack him, most likely out of respect. He later received public recognition from the zoo, who lauded him as a hero. Berlin Zoo, 2009 the case of the Berlin Zoo incident in 2009 is both mysterious and sketchy, and not much is known, right down to the name of the woman involved in this incident on our list. What we do know 
is that in 2009, a German woman dove right into the polar bear exhibit at the Berlin Zoo. She's apparently a huge polar bear fanatic, and her mental condition is... Mm, a bit wonky. In any case, she would soon come to regret her dive, as the bears let her know how much they didn't want her there, biting and clawing at her viciously. Zookeepers were somehow able to drag her back up along the wall, but not before she'd sustained some nasty injuries. Who knew that polar bears were vicious creatures with teeth and claws who enjoyed hunting and killing? And not a refreshing Coca-Cola. Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, 2015. Once again, another case of a two-year-old boy being held on top of the protective railing and falling into an enclosure with several dangerous animals. Luckily though, this one ends on a lighter note. The boy, whose name has not been disclosed, was held over the railing to get a better look, and his mom dropped him. Shocking. The young lover of jungle cats fell nearly 10 feet into the cheetah exhibit. Luckily for all parties involved, the cheetahs remained calm and didn't even acknowledge the boy's presence or the parents and zookeepers who retrieved him. This incident caused the zoo to defend itself aggressively by pursuing legal action against the parents in the form of a child endangerment charge. Looks like they won't be renewing their membership next year. Santiago Metropolitan Zoo. Suicide is never the answer. No matter what you might think, someone's going to be devastated by it. Your community will be impacted, your loved ones will be at a loss without you, and you'll be sorely missed by many. It hurts everyone around you. In this case, a suicide attempt ended poorly when two beautiful endangered lions were forced to be put down. An unnamed man decided the way he wanted to go was being mauled by lions, so he did what any man in his position would do. He went to the Santiago Metropolitan Zoo walked up to the lion exhibit, took off all of his clothes, folded them neatly on the ground with a letter tucked into his pants pocket, and then climbed the fence and walked right up to the lions. Zookeepers made a split-second decision to save the man's life and shot down the male and female big cats. The zookeepers were devastated by having to do this, and the man was arrested. His note would later be found a selfish manifesto that ended the lives of two amazing jungle cats for no reason. Little Rock Zoo, 2015. A young child went to the Little Rock Zoo with his father and grandfather for some fun and multi-generational bonding time. The day quickly soured, however, when the boy wandered away from his dad and crawled underneath the fence of the jaguar enclosure. Jaguars aren't exactly friendly, and two of the vicious cats were on him in a flash, savagely biting his head open and tearing a large gash in his legs. Against all odds, the zookeepers on duty rushed the big cats, driving them away and putting the child on an air evac headed for a local hospital. A few months later, and the boy was released and is reported to be in great condition. Brookfield Zoo, 1996. Here we have more of a feel-good story. A young child falls into the gorilla exhibit and was set upon by a terrifying silverback female gorilla named Binti Jua. Well, actually, the gorilla not only did not hurt the child, but in fact picked him up gently in her arms and carried him over to the entrance, giving him to the zookeeper. The great ape was praised as a hero and the child was unharmed without incident. Toronto Zoo, 2016. A visitor to the Toronto Zoo must have really liked her hat because she jumped down from the observation deck and right next to a flimsy fence that had a tiger behind it in order to retrieve it. Amidst people yelling at her, calling her names like moron, the woman leapt down and grabbed the hat while the tiger pounced on the fence separating them and desperately tried to get at her. As swiftly as she leapt down, she scrambled back up to safety and to one particularly belligerent man who made a scene yelling at her and calling her all kinds of names while cursing her out. And of course, we simply would do no justice to this list if we didn't take a moment of silence for Harambe, the great gorilla who suffered death at the hands of his zookeeper at the Cincinnati Zoo, when a young boy fell into his enclosure and sparked not only a great debate about animals in captivity, 
but also released a fury of memes into the internet world. Rest in peace, dear Harambe. You are well missed. Have you ever encountered a dangerous wild beast or know someone else who has? Let us know your thoughts about these incidents in the comments below. Thanks for watching.